Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Uckman here at the CME Group with your Morning Market Stir for Monday, April 6th. Markets were closed on Friday, but on Thursday we saw some positive action. E-mini S&P ended the week a little bit plus, up a third of percent, 2059, up seven points. Dow futures up 65, 17,676, and then ASDAQ up one-tenth of one percent at uh, 4307, up five points. The dollar turned lower, down 87 at 96.80. Euro currency was up 98 at 110.03, back above the 110 threshold. Bonds continued their climb, pressing yields lower, 165.24. Crude oil closed just below $50 at 49.15, and gold right at that 1200 threshold at 1201. Then we had the employment report. Employment report came up woefully short in their jobs number. So now we've got the futures markets down across the board in the uh, in the stock indexes. We're down about three quarters of a percent, let's just say two thirds of a percent right now in the E-mini S&P, down 15 at 2044, down 126 in the Dow, 17,550, and down 34 in the NASDAQ at 42, 4273. Currencies sit on change right now. Bonds are off four ticks at 165.20. Let's get an update on those yields. 2.49 in the uh, 30 year and 1.84 in the 10 year note, as we've seen a renewed de demand for our treasury markets. We got crude oil up solidly today, up $1.50 at 5060, back above that 50 threshold, and gold up $19 at 1220. So to wrap up the current action with two hours ago before the cash stock market opened after the unemployment report, we've got the stock futures down, down 15 in the S&P, down 126 in the Dow futures, down 34 in the NASDAQ 100. I will see you early Tuesday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.